Lying just off the coast of South America and bathed in the warm rich waters of the Guyana Current, the island of Tobago is a place of unusual biological richness. For land creatures, it is a stepping stone between the American continent and the chain of Caribbean islands. For marine creatures, it is a gateway between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. We all know Tobago is special but sometimes we forget just how special it is. The Main Ridge Forest Reserve is the oldest protected rainforest in the Western Hemisphere. And per square kilometer, Tobago is home to more species of birds than anywhere else on Earth. Hidden from view, just beneath the surface, Tobago keeps perhaps its best kept secrets. Its spectacular reefs that teem with creatures of every shape and color. In September 2005, in a matter of just a few weeks, Tobago's coral reefs, along with many others in the Caribbean, turned a stark white in one of the worst mass coral bleaching events ever seen in the region. Because it happened underwater, the striking display of environmental stress was only witnessed by a relatively few number of people. One of the first to see what happened was reef tour operator Dunstan Johnson. Everything turned white. Everything. Brain coral, star coral, finger coral. Everything was white. The coral bleaching event of 2005 was significant in terms of its scale. Um, we had uh, probably uh, experienced probably an 80 or 90 percent bleaching of the hard corals on the reef, and that's actually, that's quite stark. It's something that you cannot miss. Yeah, 2005 was a, an unusually hot year. The, the sea surface temperatures reached about 31 degrees Celsius and that triggered not only the huge hurricanes we had that year such as Katrina but also caused this Caribbean-wide bleaching event. You must remember that this event uh, stretched all the way up 
to uh, Puerto Rico and further. And uh, collectively, the Caribbean as a whole has suffered from um, negative PR uh, from this particular event. And we'll never really know the extent of damage that has been done by this. Uh, the Maldives have been suffering uh, from a major bleaching event they had several years ago uh, from negative publicity then. And they are still not experiencing the numbers of tourists that they, they had been receiving prior to the event. Bleach coral isn't actually a dead coral, it's just one that's lost its color. It's lost its millions of microscopic plant cells that live in its tissue. Now it may not be dead, but it's extremely stressed. And if it doesn't recolonize these plant cells, it will die within about one or two months. Now in September of 2005, we were getting reports right around Tobago that the situation was getting much worse. So the Buka Reef Trust, together with the Tobago House of Assembly, decided to set up a major survey of the reefs island-wide. A team of five very experienced marine biologists from Coral Cay Conservation came over to Tobago and joined in on the surveys for a three week period in what was probably the largest reef surveys ever conducted in Tobago. The surveys um, involved a lot of scuba diving right around the island uh, where we took pictures and we used belt transects uh, to get this kind of information. We monitored the fate of corals using photography so that we could see whether the corals were recovering their color or not. The results from these surveys showed that uh, as high as 67% of corals around the island were bleached, were affected by this mass bleaching event. And of those 67%, about a quarter of them actually died in, in the year that followed. So this was a major, major bleaching event that caused a major setback to Tobago's reefs. Yeah, still today, um, in 2007, the effect of that bleaching event is still very visible on many of the reefs around Tobago, where we see large areas either recovering or diseased from that 2005 bleaching event. The Speyside reefs perhaps because of the strong currents in that area, were not affected as badly as other areas of Tobago. And fortunately, the giant brain coral, the famous largest brain coral in the Caribbean, was not affected by that 2005 bleaching event. Most experts now agree that these mass coral bleaching events are part of climate change and the worrying thing about that is that if the predictions are right we are to expect far worse and more regular bleaching events in the Caribbean. Over the last two decades uh, most of those years have been the hottest ever on, on record but um, closer to home in the Caribbean we have early evidence of climate change and the bleaching of coral reefs which has been quite um, significant and widespread in the, in the Caribbean, in particular the, in particular the 2005 event of coral bleaching I think is one of the precursors of climate change.